Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Pace, and here are the most awaited ROM for the MI A1 is rolled out. The ROM is Linux 15.1 audio based ROM. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Linux 15.1 in MI A1. So, before proceed, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notifications about all of future videos. Now, if you're ended, let's get it started. Now, the first thing that I want to show you that your device must be running on the Android Nougat for, to install this ROM. If your device is not running on the Android Nougat, then you will get error in TWRP recovery. So, once your device is in Nougat, you will be able to install this ROM. So, first of all, you have to go to settings, go to about phone, and tap 7 times on the build number, you will get a developer option. And here, developer in developer option, you have to enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. So once you done that, just turn off your device and press volume down and power button to open fast boot mode in your device. So once you are in fast boot mode, you have to connect your mobile with your computer by USB cable. So once you connect your mobile in fast boot mode, you just have to download this four file from link in the description of the video. And first of all, you have to install the ADB driver on your PC. To install it, just double click on this ADB driver setup file and it will open a command window here. You just have to type Y for yes and and just click on next 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 and simply finish it and once you install the adv driver on your pc now you have to unlock the bootloader of your device now to unlock bootloader of your device just open command prompt and type the command fastboot space oem space unlock this will unlock the bootloader of your device now if you want to check the status of your bootloader then just type fastboot space oem space device dash info now this will tell you the status of the bootloader of your device. Now if it's true then it means your device bootloader is unlocked. So once your bootloader is unlocked you just have to extract the TWRP file that you download earlier in your computer. So just go to this folder and here you will get a flash twrp.wet file. Now here you just have to double click on this fastboot twrp wet file and it will open a command window you just have to hit enter and press 1 to boot your device into twrp and then again hit enter to start booting your device into twrp recovery. Now this when it will not install twrp recovery on your device it will just boot your device into twrp recovery. So once you get the twrp menu in your device you just have to close the command window. Now in TWRP here you will just have to allow for the modification. You just have to swipe this button left to right. So once you are in the main menu of TWRP recovery and just select wipe then go to advanced wipe and select Delvix system data and internal storage and just swipe this button left to right to wipe everything. And now make sure that you already take the backup of your important data. So once you wipe everything, just go to main menu of TWRP recovery, then go to reboot, then click on bootloader. Then swipe this button left to right and it will boot your device into a fast boot mode. Now leave your device again connected to your PC. Now go to your PC, go to this TWRP folder and just run this TWRP.bed file and it will open command window and you just have to repeat the same step again that i show you earlier and you just have to boot your device into twrp mode again so once your device is boot into twrp recovery you just have to close this command window and go to your twrp recovery and swap this button again left to right to allow for the modification And now this time just leave your device connected to your computer. And now go to your computer and you will able to access your internal storage of your device. So just copy this Linux file and the GFs file on your device. Now make sure that you are using only this GFs file that I show in this video. So, and I'll put all this link in the description of the video. So once you copy this bold, both the file in your device. Now if you want to root your device. Then just go to this TWRP folder and go to this root folder and here you will get the magisk manager. And just copy this magisk zip file on your internet storage if you want to root your device. Now if you don't want to root your device just you can skip this magisk file. So once you copy all this file just close everything. Now go to your mobile just select install option and only select Linux ROM file. And once you select that, just swipe it from left to right to flash it. It may take up to 5 to 10 minutes, so please wait until it's completed. So once it's completed, just go to main menu of TWRP recovery. Now go to reboot, then click on bootloader and 
swap this button left to right to boot your device into a fast boot mode. So once your device is again in fast boot mode, go to your PC and go to this twrp folder and again run this fast boot twrp.bat file to boot your device again in twrp recovery. Now this time we will install gapps in your device. So once your device again in twrp recovery, just go to install and just select the gapps package and just swipe this button left to right to install gapps on your device. So once it finished, now go back and just select Magix Manager if you want to root your device. Otherwise you can skip this step. Now if you want to root your device, just select Magix file and just swipe this button left to right again and it will start flashing the Magix file on your device. So once both the thing is done, now finally you can click on the reboot system. So just click on the reboot system and if it promotes to install the TWRP app on your device, then just select do not install. Now finally everything is done, your device will boot into a Linux. So with this ROM everything is working fine, I haven't noticed any bugs in it. But sometimes I have seen that some app gets crashed after opening it and sometimes I uh, unable to open camera application it automatically gets forced closed. So there are some minor bugs in it and you can still install this ROM and enjoy the feature of the Linux OS. Now here you can see that this ROM is running on the Android Oreo 8.1.0 and also having a latest security update of the March 2, 2018. Camera, app, fingerprint and video recording and everything is working fine and there are some minor works we can consider it and hope in future developer will fix it. So one more good thing is that this ROM is not having a bloodware apps installed on it. So guys this is all about the Linux OS of MI1. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. If you haven't watched my previous video of MI1, then you can also watch this video from link in the description of the video. And if you haven't followed me in my social account, then go to link in the description and check out my social account and we can engage more. And that's it for this video uh, and this is the page signing out. Meet you soon in next video.